Hello again, welcome to Crop Life Retail Weeks. Paul Shrimp here with Eric Spilligoy. Joining you, um, uh, some really interesting items this week uh, on the retail front. I know, Eric, you were doing some kind of research and digging in on a big six, and you had a couple things to share. Sure. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, as we mentioned in the last week's episode, uh, the rumors are flying fast and furious that Dow AgriScience is on the block to be sold. And I know as we record this this week, we're just past the NFL deadline for trades. And as any good uh, sports reporter will tell you, the trading deadline always has buyers and sellers. So right now, in the big six crop protection companies can kind of fall into those two camps as well. If your name begins with the letter D, Dow or DuPont, it looks like you're going to be a seller. Uh, as for buyers, it looks like Monsanto and BASF will definitely be among the buyers uh, in the market. Uh, still to be determined, Syngenta and Bayer. Uh, some circles say that uh, one or both will be sellers. Some circles say one or both will be buyers. So it'll be interesting, Paul, to see uh, where 2016 takes us when it comes to the big six, which could eventually be a big four or a big three when we're done. Certainly a lot of talk about that. I think speculation is that something's going to happen in the next year. Uh, it's just a matter of what it is and who the partners are. So in terms of consolidation, uh, Climacorp and uh, John Deere were the big news this week. Uh, we saw uh, John Deere purchase the rights to the precision planting technology, uh, which, uh, again, kind of moves uh, Climacorp away from the equipment side, it, uh, and it gives them, uh, you know, gives them the, the ability to kind of focus on the data side where John Deere can take the the precision planting technology and uh, and run with it. You know, they, they have the dealers will have the potential to service precision planting equipment. Um, the data will flow from the machine to the field view platform that uh, is so popular among growers right now. It's the iPad interface, so it uh, it works very effectively, and growers just like to be able to look at their data and peruse through it. And it shows that deer is really opening up themselves uh, in a meaningful way to uh, to partnerships and to sharing data, which you know could be um, you know, a significant important development uh, in terms of what other kinds of partners and, and companies get together. So that was certainly a certainly a fascinating fascinating development this week, and uh, we'll be watching to see uh, see how that develops. I, again, I should say that this was a uh, uh, this was an attention to purchase. Uh, there's some due diligence they need to go through. It's supposed to finish up in the first quarter of 2016. So uh, we'll be making, watching that to make sure it goes through. But it seems like, uh, seems like it's going to be a terrific thing for the industry. Hmm. Yeah. And that's all for this week, uh, uh, this edition of uh, This Week, uh, Retail Week. Did I say that right? Do I know the name of my show? Retail Why Week. Why don't you close it? Retail Week. <laughs> that's it for this edition of Retail Week. Thank you, Paul. And uh, we will see you again next week. Have a good one. Do you want to use that, or do you? Want I don't know. I kind of think we can. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Give I it, give it, it, give it a shot. I see how it looks. It. <laughs>